Good afternoon, ladies. Sunday afternoon. I've come in here for nothing in particular, just to play. And I was doing this. I this is some um, air dry clay. I bought this this week, and. In the shop, it was, um, oh, the handle was broken. It was put together with sellotape. Nobody knew if it was any good. And I got it for $3. Take this handle off, it's annoying me. Every time I pick it up, it's there and doing nothing. It doesn't want to come off. Come on, off you come. And now the other one broke off so easy. There we go, don't want that. So anyway, I had this little, um, what do you call them? <laughs> you know what you call them, mould. And so I rolled some of that clay up in my hands and decided to have a go. And this is the result, which I think is quite cool. I hope that is... Um, Focusing right? No, it's not. Come on, focus. So I thought that was not bad. I've just cleaned all the sides off. I also did these ones. This is um, a chocolate mould I got for a dollar. So I thought, well, and there we go. Not bad, is it? Got a bow on it. Mm. This one's supposed to be a star, but it hasn't worked out. I didn't put the clay in right. I suppose chocolate would just pour in there, but clay didn't. And this is another one. A little bit like a chess piece actually but I'm quite pleased with those that's this one oh, another chess piece I'm happy with those they will go on something so they've got to have their edges sorted yet yes <sighs> need more Need more moulds, got to get more moulds. So, um, I had a bit of a shop during the week. I was going to come home and video it, but I didn't because uh, what I came home to put me in a bad mood, so I didn't do it. And I've put most of it away. But I can at least show some of what I got. I'll right, just wipe this clay off. It's gluing everything on here. This really is an old pad. That'll do for now. That'll do. Right. What else did I buy? Oh. I bought these butterflies. I quite like them because I've never had the green ones before. And I thought, hmm, something different. I've got blue ones and I've got grey ones. But I didn't have green, so I have now. The other thing I bought were these. Um, now it doesn't look, it wasn't that many actually, they were all this big and I've just cut them in half. So I actually bought two of the pearls, one of the yellow, one of the green and one of the blue and one of the pink. They were all $2 a strip. 
Now you can't beat that because when you go in the other shops, they're six and seven dollars, if not more. I also bought this. No, I'm not going into artistry, but every now and again, I've wanted a paper for testing whether this is a water, what's it that they're called? I don't know. But I thought this will do for having a play around with the paints. I will not be drawing. I am not an artist. <laughs> but uh, I bought that because it's always something I've been thinking of getting. Another big one of white glue. Ready to make my own uh, gesso and moulding paste etc I know I've got to do some gesso before I can do anything else I've just run out so that was that I bought myself a new metal ruler I've got a little six inch one um, but that's in my other paper towel box that I don't use any of the stuff in it I had to pay extra because I wanted centimeters and inches we are actually um, centimeters here and everything metric but I still think in the feet and inches and I've not so much in the pound shillings and pence but in the feet and inches so I wanted both so if they give both one measurement I know what I'm doing I bought, I wanted, I wanted to do some little um, mixed medias and I bought these, they're thin ones, but these were a dollar fifty each. They've already primed with gesso, quality cotton canvas and I actually bought what they had, one, two, three four five six seven I've got a lot of frames this size that I don't use and I thought if I some do some little mixed medians media they'll fit on there and I can actually put them into a frame and even put something on the frames that's my thought that's what I'd like to do and then they're nice to give away as little gifts if people like them so that's that. Those. What else did I buy? It was a lot more than that. I got this, these. My granddaughter had them for her wedding. They were five dollars for all these little pebbles. covered in gold. I've already put one on, some on my other mixed medias, even ones I've finished, I've got back down and put them on and they look lovely. Saves so buying the gold paint, they're already painted. So that was those. What else did I get? Um, I, that's not all. But I can't remember what else. Oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't buy this. A friend gave me this at Lion Dancing. I told them I wanted some cheesecloth or muslin or something. So uh, <laughs> they've bought me this. It's second hand, but she's a very clean, meticulous lady. So, but on one of the boards, ideal for texture. There's some in a cream. That's a finer one. I like that one. Finer. I'm having a job getting cheesecloth. So that will have to do. Ah. I can't think of anything else. That one's there. 
I can't think of anything else. My mind's gone blank. What's up here? Oh, yes. Some zips. And the mixed media. Metal zips. Don't really often see them these days. So my friend saw them first and she says, oh, look. So I bought a couple. Didn't matter on colours. Here's another thing. Uh, these were $2.50, some little jars. I'll fill them with something and stick on something. They're quite cute. Uh, mini glass craft jars. Yeah, I got those. Ah, what else? I think that might be it. Oh! I had another friend, oh actually it was the same friend at Line Dancing, came in the other night and said, you've been wanting old jewellery and stuff. And I says, yeah. She says, what this stuff do? And a zip. It's the nylon one, but I think we can do something with it. Another zip. A metal zip. Another metal zip. That's broken in two parts, but that doesn't matter. So there was those. Oh, and a bit of an orange zip. <laughs> uh, two doilies joined together. Nice. And then look in here. Look. Isn't she beautiful? Put that on a picture. This is a broken bracelet, so that can be taken apart more. All the bits can be used. There's a broken, you know, part of it. So yeah, because I don't think that's supposed to go in there. There's no way that'll fit anybody. It looks like that might be it, but it's no way it'll fit unless it's a child. But anyway, there's that. This lovely brooch. It has had dangly things on, which actually there is one of them in here. Yeah, that goes with that brooch. So that's that. Ah, uh, this had this stuck in it, and I think there might have been something else on the front that's fell off. But that's fine; it can be used. Now these, I said to her, she says, "I don't know why I put those in," and I says, "But they will look good on a mixed media, won't they? It's the zip pulley." So yes, so she thought well for me to bring those. Here we are, some more little zip bits. <laughs> zip bits. <laughs> That's a scarf holder. Piece of power. Abalone, you call it. Where am I? Piece of abalone. Ah, I can see, is the other thing off that necklace. Oh, come on, it. I hope I've been showing you all this right ahead. This, look. That was stuck in there, and I reckon... Come here. Yes, it is, because there's the gold, and I reckon that was on it. So I'll put that back on there. That's pretty. Some chain. Nice. Um, one's been an earring, I presume the other one has, but lots of more bits. Oh, a tiny little pair of earrings. The lady who gives them to me, she always wears that colour. That's her favourite colour. There's another zip thing. And then there was, these were earrings, 
but that one's lost its backing. Oh, I'm not showing you very well, am I? So yeah, so that's quite nice. I'm quite pleased with all that. Now I'm going to have to check this video and see if you can see it properly. If not, I'm going to have to redo it. But that is all for now. So I'll say bye-bye to you. And I will be back soon. Love you all. Bye.